Ooh, yes. Yes. I gotta remember that hole is there or else I'm just going to freaking die. We want this cool rover. No, Rovers hates us. That's not gonna put a damper on my mood. Uh, the fact that we don't have water might. Hello and welcome back to No Suit Survival. Last time we were able to finish welding up the conveyors, the basic assembler, and basic refinery. Uh, in the process we got hit with a couple different storms and so we've been periodically welding things back up to try to keep this base airtight, as well as we have uh, this rover, or what used to be a rover here, and now, now is just this sad, sad situation that we're going to flip over and we're going to try to turn it into a uh, two-wheeled gyro monstrosity. Uh, that way we can get our production back in order. But all of that is to come. And let's uh, let's take a look at kind of where we're at right now with, with our resources. Okay, let's throw all, the, all of the scrap into the basic refinery, get that refined. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, how are we looking on iron? Ooh, yes. Yes! That is good news. We should probably fix the rover. I have enough water and I have enough food that should last me for a quick second. Uh, so, let's, uh, yeah, let's go fix that up. So, how am I want to... Okay, yeah, let's, let's do... I'm going to use a gyro to flip it over. Uh, I would love to use the rover cockpit. It's, like, one of my favorites. But seeing as how I have no spacesuit, I don't think that that will actually work. Oh man, this is a beautiful thing that we have going on here right now. Okay, so the so what I should be able to do is get in here. We're gonna take this. We're gonna put the override, and I think it's pitch. Is it pitch? Yes, it was. <laughs> Oh, 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 come on. Why can't anything ever be simple? See, we had it and then we lost it. Okay. I think I should be able to dig around enough to be able to put two wheels on. Honestly, after I finish building the rover, I think the big thing that I should probably do is try to actually make a garage of some sort. So that way, while I'm working on it, I'm not just continually dying. Um,. I guess while that's going, uh, I should build a, I think it's the right wheel that's missing. So yeah, let's, let's throw in that stuff to produce while I continue drilling out the rover. Awesome. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, if you look at this design on this uh, on this little ship here, you may notice that uh, that the wheels are not aligned. That is too funny. Okay, and I think is it one of these. No, it was. Something on this side. There we go. Hey, starting to look like I originally designed it. It's just only with about half of it. <laughs> because the original had four wheels. Survival kit. Survival kit. Always at the survival kit. Dang it. Okay. Well, guess I gotta drill out a little bit more. Okay, I'm grabbing the stuff for the gyro, and I think that should be at least enough to get this thing running. Um, I don't. 
But we still don't have the drill on it quite yet. But that's okay. Mm, okay. Alright, I think that override gyro is a little too strong. <laughs> with some finesse which I have clearly shown over this entire experience that I have <laughs> come on come on we can do it <laughs> hey we got it out of the hole by golly we've done it Okay, now we have this goofy minor thing, so now we just need to put a drill off the front of it. Uh, I would like to pipe it up to like a cargo container, and I bet I could. Ooh, yeah, I bet I could. Okay, so here's the idea. So I need to get rid of these spotlights because they're really not doing anything when they're behind the cockpit. Oh, I don't have access to the conveyor ports. Okay, so I'll probably have to move the cockpit, honestly, either up or down. Uh, up would probably make more sense. All right, so here's the so here's my current idea is I can move this cockpit up one, and then I could put a connector underneath the cockpit, and then I can use the small conveyor ports on the sides of the connectors, and I can drill out the center of this part, and then have those small conveyors go to a storage cargo container on the back over here. I'll just get rid of this stuff. Um, and then that way, as I drill off the front, uh, I can put the weight in the back and help me with weight distribution. Also, by giving it a connector, it will give me an opportunity to later on actually put a little mounting spot where I can uh, put all that into the inventory automatically, which would be nice, and also uh, be able to recharge this battery. Um, so I think that that would be a good thing to do. Now, the question is, is that a good thing to do immediately, like right now? Or is that a good uh, V2, um, whereas right now I should probably get more ice? Honestly, I should probably get more ice. If another storm comes back and I don't have any more ice to, to pressurize the base, I'm going to be in a bad way. So, so let's get the drill on the front and let's go get some ice. I also grabbed some stuff so I can put lights all around it. Okay, this thing is going to be very front heavy, so I just need to be careful with that. Okay, let's let's keep it at like 3.7. Maybe not. 3.5 still? Man, these overrides are finicky. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we'll figure this out. Now we're back right side up. Okay. The Goofy Miner in all its glory. Uh, actually, let's park it again and let's make sure to put the. I'm gonna remove that. Remove that. Let's put block tools up here. Let's put uh, the. Let's do override and let's make sure to have like a uh, increase roll override. Decrease roll override. Hey, you know what? Let's go. Let's go to that unknown signal. We have a we have a working vehicle again. Hopefully these aren't famous last words. <laughs> right as a storm hits and just breaks my wheels. But it doesn't look like a storm is coming in right this second. So I think we can celebrate our current victory with an unknown signal. Oh, it's one of those rolly ones. Stop it. You know what? It was not worth. It was not worth it. Did I just... Oh no, please tell me. That's not a storm. I hope it's just a windstorm and not like an actual... Like, big storm. I also hope that I can find the ice. Uh, cause I didn't really go my normal way and I haven't put a, uh... I haven't put a marker on it. I think I see it in the distance. There we go. Okay, I thought it was over here. Okay, now let's get some ice. Looks like we're pretty much almost full. 
I am kind of surprised that this, uh, thought that the roll gyro would be able to do this, but apparently it's not. Huh. Well, guess we're gonna have to reduce our load a little bit. I just, I, I can theoretically make it back like this, but I just, I feel like the drill is gonna break. Okay, well, this is gonna be a really sketchy drive home. Just gotta make sure that I don't, you know, rip off the drill off the front of this thing. Kind of just skating across the top here. So when I get home, I, I do think I'm going to make those adjustments. I'm going to uh, add the cargo container on the back so that way we can have a little bit more balance. I'd also like to add some spotlights off the front of this thing so that way it's better at kind of showing us what's in front of it because right now I'm using my own personal spotlights rather than the spotlights on the on the rover itself. I'm just glad that we we even got a little bit of ice. I know it's not enough to fully repressurize the base if we lose pressure, but the fact that we have some spare stuff so that way like to make water, which it looks like I'm out of anyway, so I'm glad we're on our way home cuz I am now dying of thirst. Ooh, this might be cutting it close. I don't have a whole lot of health to spare, and I'm gonna start dying of thirst here in a second, and I just gotta make sure that I don't destroy this drill and lose all the ice. Ooh, this could be close. Okay, all right, don't run into any holes. Okay, all right, I know, I know, my health is critical. I got it. Whoo, that one was close. That could have been pretty bad. All right, let's grab the water. I should, ha I should still have some water in here. There we go. Okay, so next step is we're gonna add, we're gonna make those adjustments to the rover so that way we can pull some more ice, more stone. Uh, and then I think it's time to build the garage. Let's start with making those adjustments to the rover. It looks like I am gonna need another gyro. So let's, let's grab another one of those. I'm going to need a connector. I'm going to need a cargo container and I'm gonna need some conveyors. Okay, so let's see what we got. Ooh, looks like something just crashed. Oh. Well, we knew it was gonna happen eventually. So it looks like I'm out of, I am out of iron. Well, let's, uh, I guess, let's throw all this stuff back in there and let's start getting some, some iron. And by that, I mean stone. Whoa, how am I not dying right now? This is weird. Hmm. So it sounds like it's raining outside and weirdly enough, Right now, while it's raining, it seems like there's enough oxygen for me to be able to breathe outside, which is, which is amazing. It is, oh, it's so kind of this, of this planet to give me something good for once, because all it's been doing up until this point is just screwing me over with the crazy storms. So there is, like, kind of an atmosphere. Like, it's somewhat breathable. How is it, how is it high? Whoa. This is, this is good news. All right. Let's start drilling some stone. Come on. Let's try this a little differently. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle with it. I gotta remember that hole is there or else I'm just going to freaking die. Okay, let's park this guy right there. Here is your stone, sir. Okay, grab the stone, put it in there. Grab the stone, put it in there. Grab the stone, put it in there. Okay, I wonder if that's enough. There's a couple K of stone. Probably not enough though. Let's, uh, yeah, let's grab another another round while it c continues to produce. It's just so pleasant that while it's raining, I can breathe. That's a, that's a cool, that's a cool little reprieve for the first time. Uh, almost full. No, 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 no. No, come on. We can do it. Let's uh, let's put the strength on these things a little bit higher. Come on, wheels. We can, we can do this. I feel like I made a mistake. Hey, you know what? Leave that there. Cause uh, here's the thing. While it's raining, I can walk. Oh, I can walk home. You know. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh man, I'll tell you what, even this like half done two wheeled guy with the little drill is so much better 
than what I had to deal with when I was just mining by hand. With the amount of times that I had to just go back to the survival kit and then come back out here and then go to the survival kit and the storm was raging. This just was a mess. So even even though this is not the prettiest thing I've ever done, it feels nice to be to be working with like several thousand stone. Mining it with a drill way faster than mining it by hand. Why is the survival no, 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 no. The survival kit should not be the one processing this stone. That is a basic refinery's job. Okay, it says it's got all the stuff I need. Luckily, I get to build out the miner while I can breathe outside. Okay, that's six. Interestingly enough, I am gonna have to get rid of this to put the cargo container back here. So, but I guess I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Okay, so we're gonna take this drill off and we're gonna take this, oh. Take this off. Might as well take these off too. Now we're going to grab the connector and we're going to put it, just for sake of ease, let's do that. And then that. Oh, uh, you know what? I should probably lift that up, put it up one more. The cockpit will be kind of high, but it'll give us more like more of an angle that we can work with. It'll give the connector a better connection to the battery rather than just on the one conveyor. All right, so we have that. Let's go with our cockpit. Guess I need this stuff for a cockpit. Small grid, let's grab it. So throw all this stuff back in the basic refinery. Okay, grabbed all the components for the cockpit. Why is the O2 still high out here? What is happening? I think my game glitched. I don't think that this is, uh, I don't think this is real. Oh, oh, just kidding. Uh, it was, it was the storm for some reason. It was letting me live. All right. Uh, Okay. It is kind of weird that uh, earlier my O2 was permanently at zero, now it's permanently at 100. And also, I shouldn't have the option to put my helmet down, so I think the game might be glitched, so I might have to go and fix that in a second. But I'll leave my helmet open, because this is the no-suit survival. Okay, so we have the cockpit on top of the connector. We'll be able to connect down here. It looks like we're going to put the drill up here. So I think the next thing we should do is we should... You know what? I think I'll probably put a piston on this side so that way I can like leave it upright when I work on the back. So let's grab a little piston and a piston part. All right, well, I reloaded the world and I went uh, for a second and I looked at the footage of what I had captured already. And it looks like the entire time I've been playing, I've had that 100% O2 this episode. So I don't know if there was like some kind of like patch or some kind of update or whatever, but even though my guy still doesn't have a spacesuit, um, he has a hundred O2, which makes sense while he's in here. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense when he's outside, uh, but not a big deal. I'll just leave the, uh, the helmet off. So, uh, where were we? Oh yes, we were going to build a piston, uh, so that way we can hold up the, the miner. Okay. I feel like that one's up there. So this is plenty. Okay. And... Okay, let's uh, auto lock off. Okay, maximum distance, let's turn it to like 1.5. Okay, let's grab this one is locked, so let's lock that one. Let's unlock that one and let's reverse this. Okay, good. Come on. Okay. Hey, it fell off. Next up. Let's. Okay. So we're going to cargo. We're going to put a cargo container on this thing. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So let's put that guy right there. 
and just for my for my sake of sanity let's uh let's also make sure that it looks the same on both sides so what do we got over there we got one of those and one of those necessary no but also kind of yes oh no 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 no, no. please just be a dust storm oh i hope it's not lightning this would suck so bad i need to not delay this garage anymore we need to, uh, it just, if anything, just to protect the freaking rover so I don't have to rebuild it. This is the third time I've had to rebuild this rover. Okay, it does look to just be a dust storm. Uh, yeah, let's just throw that up there like that. Okay. And let's grab these conveyors. Or not. Okay. We just need one two three and then come on give it to me yes okay all right we can oh no we can't <laughs> uh you fool you forgot the drill well worse things have happened i love how i was just talking about how much i missed having a drill rather than doing things manually. And now I have to do things manually until I can get a drill again. Good going. Okay, got my food and water. Ooh, I'm running out of water. Oh no. Okay, because I'm running out of water and I don't wanna have to do another emergency ration thing because it takes just so freaking long. I, I will add one more delay. I need to build that O2 recycler. So that way I can turn ice into a bunch of drinking water really quickly. Um, kind of get that whole thing set up. And then I'll build the garage. Nope. I lied. I'm going to... Okay. There are two things I need to do before I build the garage. And honestly, the other one kind of works with the garage. I need to set the connector back up. Uh, up so that way I can just take the miner and connect it to the base rather than uh, having to just manually drag the stone from the miner to the refinery. Honestly, what I should probably do is at some point I should probably put like maybe up here uh, or over here, I should probably put like a to-do list of like, okay, first things first, build drill for rover. Second, build emergency water recycler, O2 recycler. Uh, number three, build connector for rover. And then number four, build garage. That way I can just make sure I stay on top of that stuff. Because I have a tendency to get sidetracked and distracted if you haven't been able to notice. Did we really eat all through all that ice already? Yeah, we did. Man. That's the other thing why I want to get that connector set back up is because the connector will allow me to not have to run through the airlock a bunch of different times and waste my precious oxygen. Just one of those things is gonna take some time. Are you kidding me? I had five, <laughs> I had 5,000 stones sitting in my survival kit. Ugh. All right, I need to make sure that my survival kit does not yeah, let's not have you use the conveyor system. You are only for giving me health back. Yes! We have enough for the drill. Before I take the rover out, I should probably make another gyro. Just because I was having some issues earlier and I don't want to run into it anymore. So, how... How far off am I? Dang, that's actually more far off than I thought. You know what? Let's uh, do it without it. Famous last words, I suppose. Here's the good news. Because I have this piston here, uh, if the drill gets too heavy up in front without the, without the third gyro that I wanted to add, um, I can use the piston to lift it up so that way I can get a little bit better traction. So hopefully... That'll make it okay. All right, and let's, uh, let's grab some more stone. Kinda, we'll just drag the drill along the ground for now until I get the extra gyroscope. Like that. You know what, let's extend this. Okay. 
Uh oh. Seems I have left enough oxygen out by going through the door too many times that now I I no longer have enough oxygen to breathe in the base. Guess I need to go make another ice run. I just need to figure out the gyro situation before I do that, because I don't want to break off the drill or anything. Huh, I am you know what's funny? I had a, I have this idea. I don't know if it would work, but it could be interesting. What I could do is I could put a rotor on the bottom of this piston and then uh, and then have a uh, just turn it off and have another wheel on on it. So when I'm not drilling or whatever, it kind of becomes like a trike, uh, which would be interesting. Uh, I don't know how that would m deal with the steering. Oh, I need to grab more stone. But it could be helpful in lifting up the front end. If this uh, if this third gyro doesn't do the trick, then uh, then I'll probably give that a go. Just add uh, add that rotor and see if that can be a little bit helpful. Would be kind of interesting. I've never really designed a three wheeled vehicle in in uh, Space Engineers before. Let's add a few. Ooh, nice. Let's add a few more gyros. All right. Let's see if we can make that work. Okay. Uh, so let's go back into this menu. Let's go uh, groups, increase roll, decrease roll, unlock that, reverse it like that, and let's go get some. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. I need a. I need another gyro, and I think I have enough stuff. But uh, steering just became really difficult. I do not have enough stuff. Okay. I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with the steering for now. I'm hoping with this new kind of configuration, I'll be able to uh, bring enough ice back that that I can keep the base pressurized for a good amount of time. I mean, also, I'd, it'd be easier to keep the base pressurized if I didn't have to go through the freaking airlock so many times. But alas, here we are. It would also be nice to build an O2 tank on the base so that way we can just have that filled and we can have a reserve all things in time I suppose but first things first let's get this ice all right let's see so looks like everything is pretty much full okay let's pull up the gyro Really? See, now that is fascinating to me. As soon as the drill has any weight in it, it just pulls the whole thing. It's almost like the center of gravity of the drill is like in the tip of it. Hmm. Okay. Let's... Whoa, 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 oh no. Any damage? Okay. Let's let's roll us over. Okay. You know, all things considered, not the worst thing that could have happened. Honestly, I didn't even lose anything. So the big deal is I just I just can't unless I put a second cargo container on the back, which might be the move I just can't leave anything like very much in the drill itself because it just gets too front heavy but all in all not a bad run <gasps> do you see what I see is that an iron rock that looks like iron to me heck yeah looks like I'm I was going the wrong way but not too upset about finding a an iron boulder Well, that's not sketchy at all. <laughs> One wrong move, and I feel like I could just slam this drill right into the ground. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. What is happening? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. That could have been so bad. I feel like in the first episode, uh, I was not nearly as lucky as I am in the second one. Come on, wheels. We can make it up this hill. Okay. 
then I can stop now. You know, the more I think about having the uh, the rotor wheels on the front up here, uh, the more I like that idea. And I, you know what? I haven't really seen one of those before. I'm sure I'm sure smarter people than me have done it, but uh, but I kind of like that idea of being able to have something that can kind of convert from you get you get the mobility of the two wheels uh, in when it comes to like drilling and mining. But then you also have the stability of four wheels when you're trying to go somewhere. I kind of like that. But let's not get distracted with cool ideas when we know the order of things that we need to do. We need to make sure that we don't die of thirst. We need to make sure that we can actually hook up this rover to the base. And we need to build a garage. But we already have the piston. I feel like Schmeagle and Gollum when I talk to myself. We want this cool rover. No, rovers hates us. All right, let's take a look at this. I would probably need to move the piston up and over. So I might need to like build a little thing on top of this. So that way I can have the pistons up here. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know what? No. Yes, no. Okay. I think I think I need to build the connector first. I need to I need to rebuild a connector that comes off that top thing, but I'm going to need a bunch of stone first. Do I dare? I do dare. I'm going to go back rather than just grabbing a bunch of stone that's really not going to help me all that much. I'm going to go grab that boulder of iron and bring that back to the base because that'll give me potentially enough to uh, to build that connector that I want. But before that, please tell me I have at least the stuff needed to weld this thing up. Apparently not. Oh, stupid. Oh, so stupid. You fool. Why did I do that? Well, that really just... I did not do myself any favors doing that. All right. Let's, let's get some stone. I just wasted so much ice. I, like, immediately need to go get more ice. For shame. Yeah, man, I really need that connector. This, this just going back and forth is getting really old. Okay, I should be able to build, I should be able to weld up my other uh, gyro, which should make driving a little bit easier. Okay, so let's go to the boulder first, because I think what that will let me do is build that connector, which I wanted. And by building the connector, I know I need ice, but by building the connector, it would mean that I can make multiple trips of ice and not have to waste my time by unloading and loading and unloading and loading. Um, so I think that that would probably be the smartest move. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I really like this idea of having a piston be able to drop down some extra wheels for the stability. That seems like a pretty cool, cool idea. And then I can build I can build additional cargo uh, containers on the back, and I can turn off the override. Yeah, it could just be really nice. But you know what else is really nice? A boulder full of iron. Oh yeah. Very happy about this. I'm just gonna get rid of this stone. We don't need it. Be gone, Stone. Low health. Yeah, I know. That's my secret, Doctor. I always have low health. Oh, yes. And there was much rejoicing. Just gotta make it back to the base with all this iron. Yeah, those extra wheels seem more and more like a good idea. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Okay. Whew. I am shocked that this drill did not just 
immediately die. Alright, that's it. I'm building the extra wheels. I need, yeah, I need the extra stability. It's just, it's just too rough. Man, I'm just leaving dents everywhere. No, I have low health. I've had low health this whole time. Okay, park. Nice. Oh, that's so much better. Holy cow. Holy cow. Yeah. I think we can build the connector and set up the oh yeah that's that's what we needed oh seriously that is just so much better than everything we've been dealing with up until this point that is just so nice oh oh thank you okay let's grab more oh, and we have so much of it oh this is just what a glorious occasion oh yeah Oh, well, now we're out of ice again. But you know what? That's not going to put a damper on my mood. Uh, the fact that we don't have water might. Okay. Uh, oh, but hey, you know what? I should have enough. I should have enough for this. Where, where would I put it, though? I didn't plan this out. You know what? I think we're just going to have to do like we did originally. I think we need to have a small grid one first. Water recycler, let's grab a small grid one of those. Okay, water recycler, grab that, put that there. I guess, All right? It's not my favorite, but it's not my not favorite. Awesome. Okay, uh, let's grab more of this stuff, put that in there. Let's grab our wastewater, bring that out. Hey, more iron. Oh, it's so nice to have iron. I feel like a whole world of possibility has opened, even though I'm suffocating slowly. In a good way. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right, let's heal up and let's think about how we want to set up the, the drill. Yeah, let's just use, let's just keep it simple. Let's just use a piston on each side. Uh, we can con we'll just group them, control them together, and we'll just have a, a wheel on the side. Yeah, I think you know. Let's just do three by three wheels, and then we need a uh, we need a um, programmable block, and then we just need uh, some s steel blocks. Okay. I guess while we wait, I can start uh, taking this thing apart. Are you, are you serious? It's already done. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, this is this is a new feeling that I really am enjoying a lot. Sweet. All right, let's heal up and let's uh, let's add the the tune up to the uh, the old rover. Oh, I need a uh, programmable block so I can have the subgrade wheel control. Let's uh, let's get to building. Oh no. Yay. Okay, good.
have the programmable block. Okay, so we now have the stability. You know what? I really wish I would have done this maybe a little bit differently because I realized that I'm not going to be able to turn my drill quite as much as I would have otherwise. Okay, well, live and learn. I'm going to add some lights. Right, two of those. Two of those. Then we'll go get some ice. Let's put these guys right there. There. Okay, and then let's just, for fun, put these spotlights like that. Okay, I'm gonna get some more health, and then we're gonna go get some ice to refuel the base, and then we're gonna go get some more iron. Ooh, I wonder... You know what? For good measure, let's add another cargo container. Because I think we can do that pretty easily. I'll tell you what, this thing is ugly. Alright. Okay, I think we're we're good to go. You know what's funny? Is this looks like a praying mantis almost. Like from the back over here. With its like long butt. And uh, also with the fact that I can extend and retract its front legs. Yeah, I think I'll call this the Mantis. Yeah, it is It is a lot easier to drive around with four wheels than it is with the two. And because the ice that I have is kind of far away, not too far, but, a, but far enough to make the traveling with trying to balance the, the gyroscopes and where the drill is placed, just four wheels just makes it so much easier. But I do like the flexibility of the two wheels when it comes to uh, being able to maneuver your drill around. So hopefully we'll, we'll take this first run and see how it goes. But it looks like we're gonna have to do that next time. This is editor me in the future, realizing that I didn't plan out the timing of this video. Don't worry, we're gonna pick up right here where we left off in episode three. Thank you so much for tuning in to No Suit Survival, and we'll see you next time.